So, the three things that you guys are going to be working on for homework. Let me show you the first one, okay? This one's actually, you know what, let me show you this one first. Find the Learning Hub. Okay, so you may remember in when we were in Unit 3, or Unit 2, when we looked at elections, um, we gave you that optional assignment where there were different videos that you could watch, and they would kind of like help you to practice with like a caucus or a primary. Um, I've made one of those for Congress again, and the reason is just because there's such a volume of stuff with Congress, I feel like it's helpful. This is going to be an optional assignment, but I would really, really, really encourage you to do that, okay? So, I've just handed out the paper. It's similar. You've got like four different, ca or six different categories, um, and you're going to see that linked here. It's set up a little bit differently because in the past we've done it in class, but we don't have a ton enough time this semester because y'all are going to actually do something really fun. Um, so, here are the six things we're looking at. Framers' intention, so what is what was the design of the Congress in relationship to the Constitution? Interbranch relationships. How does the Congress work with the presidency? How does the Congress work with the bureaucracy? How does it work with the courts? That's a huge part of your AP exam. So from here forward, we will keep talking about that over and over. Public opinion of Congress, their specific powers, the structure that they have, and then factions, because we have a lot of different factions in Congress, as we looked at last time when we talked about decentralization. What I've got for you here is this is all of the vocabulary that I am telling you there are examples of as you go through. So I've pulled, there are specifically 30 words in there that you're going to find, and I'm even telling you which station is found in. So station one is an example of caucuses. Station two is an example of iron triangles. So you could truly watch, and some of them are going to have multiple. And then you just click on the video, and they're just going to be embedded in there for you. So if you choose to do this, you take whatever notes you take, and you'll turn it in on the test day. It would really be a helpful thing to study. And then even if you want to kind of put it all together, this lesson processing would help you. So you could work on it with somebody if you wanted to. So like I said, totally up to you. Turn it on test day if you want as a bonus grade. But if you have a bad daily grade, like a bad reading check or something you forgot to do, this is going to help you out. Okay. All right. The other thing that you're going to need to work on is everybody has um, that two-page thing where we've been doing a case study over public policy, correct? Okay. On the back page, you have completed history, and you've explained how that works. You have completed what political party stance is on your policy, and you've completed interest groups. Last class when we got together, remember we had those um, linkages discussions, and you decided what the, the uh, policy agenda was going to be. So what I want you to do now is I want you to complete the Congress box for your specific policy. So let's say that somebody in your group was uh, researching uh, that Trans-Pacific Partnership, and your group decided that wasn't important, that wasn't on the policy agenda, that doesn't mean that you can't still continue to research that. Like, I still want you to look up information about that because then what you're going to do is you guys are going to craft a bill. And we are going to have committee hearings. So I've shared this for you in Google Classroom. I've crossed my fingers that I've done it right. I think I have. Um, and this is going to be due not next class, but the following. So today's Tuesday, if not Thursday, Monday is when it's due. And you guys are all going to be broken up into committees. So every person in here is going to write a bill or they're going to work to co-author a bill. That's really up to you. Um, I have written a ridiculously silly sample bill so that you can see what a bill looks like. And this bill was written to establish a weekly red shoe day. Okay? But as you go through, it will tell you, it basically shows you what's going to be found in the of the bill. And all you have to do is just like type it in that same format. You don't need to do any additional research because you've been researching your topic. Like, you already know stuff about it. So, here's what you can do. You can write a bill over your topic, even if it wasn't part of the policy agenda. Because you, as a member of the House of Representatives, feel like it's that important, and you want to propose that legislation. You can say, you know what? I really like what we discussed, and I want to write something about, like, what happened on the agenda. And so, I want to shift my topic. You can co-sponsor legislation, because lots of members of Congress write pieces of legislation together. Just understand, I don't want any drama about I did it and they didn't do it, because I have children that fight, and I don't want to, we're not doing that with you guys, okay? So if you work together, legitimately work together, because I'm not sorting out your problems, okay? So anyway, you're just going to do that. You're going to do it in classroom. Everything's provided there for you. Um, if you look back here, one of the questions that asks you what part of the bureaucracy would be in charge of enforcing your bill, because we haven't taught you bureaucracy yet, I've put a chart here for you to help you. It explains like what each part of the government does, and it gives you examples of agencies, whatever. So you're going to write that 
when you guys come in on Monday, we're going to actually have committee hearings. You're going to pull those bills up. You're going to share those bills with each other. You're going to have a markup session. You're going to debate. We're going to decide what we're going to send to the floor. And then you guys, each class is going to end up picking one bill, maybe, that they choose to pass that will then will be considered when we get to the executive branch. Okay? So you have a lot of freedom. Does everybody understand what we're doing? Are we good? Cool. Okay. All right. If you have questions next class, we can definitely talk about that. and. Um, take care of all of that. So let me stop this.